Hello crafters, this is Carol from Chocolate Crafts and Bears, so am I, and I'm back with the second part of my video for the um, fake candles. This is actually what we're making today, and I had the first video showed how we um, dripped these toilet paper rolls. This one has uh, two different colored glues because my husband's glue gun had the wood uh, glue in it and I just used it up. It's not going to show because I'm going to paint it. So I've already painted these. I'm letting those dry so that I can show you how to antique them. But that's got two coats of paint. You're going to want to paint two coats. So we're going to take, um, before you do that, <laughs> let me explain a couple things. Okay, so you want to test, before you paint, you want to test your tea light to see if it'll fit in. Okay? And this one fits in perfectly, but I will tell you that I had to put a little shelf of hot glue on the top because it was a little too fat. So what I mean about that is, I'm not sure if you can see in there, but right along this edge there's a little um, shelf of hot glue so that this will not go all the way down. See, it'll just stay right there on the shelf. So what you do, if you have that particular problem, you're just going to want to take your glue gun and just eyeball it down in there and draw uh, um, a little bead of hot glue around the inside so it creates a shell for your tea light. So this one is ready to paint and before you start um, make sure you take off all the little strings if you have any left. Um, I had gone over this one already and I don't see any. So we can go ahead and start painting this one. So we're going to just put the paint on and you're going to take your brush and go up in between those uh, drips. And I am using uh, Craft Mart white paint. You can get it at Michael. A lot of times they have it two for 50 cents. It's really inexpensive paint. That's what I'm using on these. So uh, I've got this type of brush and I'm going up and under to cover all the, the glue. Paint it right down to the bottom. And yeah, I always get messy, but I just go wash up. So you're going to get in there covering all these um, glue drips. You can see it start to form a what looks like a candle, a white candle. So you could actually paint these black. I've seen them black on Pinterest. Um, black would look great, but uh, for all intention purposes, we're doing white because our candelabra is black. So this shows up really nice in contrast against it. So yeah, early in my video. Um, in my previous video, I had mentioned that we were making plans for tonight to go see the Jacksonville Suns, and I didn't tell you what the Jacksonville Suns are. They're a AAA baseball team here in the South, and it is pretty hot out today, so I'm hoping that by the time we go that it cools off a little bit, because I don't do well in the heat. I think I'll be bringing ice packs keep cool. I am still a northern girl, not a southern girl. I cannot stand the heat. So yeah, that's what we're doing tonight. We haven't been all year and tonight's their last their last game. So you're going to want to paint on the inside where the uh, area is going to show with your tea light in there. You don't have to paint all the way down, just got get on the inside around the edge. I'll show you in a second here what it looks like.
because nobody's going to see it with that tea in there. Okay, so this is what it looks on the inside. Just down that far is good enough. And you're going to want to put uh, two coats set aside. So I have all these here that are ready to paint, so I'm moving right along. Um, another thing I wanted to tell you is when you're trying to put your tea light in here and it doesn't fit, if you can't get it down as far as you want to get it going, um, you can go in there. See this one we're going to want to go down as far as, so hang on just a second. We're going to want this one to go down a little bit. So we're wanting it to go down about that much because we've got two drips. So if you're having problems, you can always um, cut away the glue. See, we want this down this far because that looks more natural for a, a candle. If you're having problems, um, and you might have gotten your uh, toilet paper tube a little too uh, tight, then you can cut away the hot glue on the corner. So I'm going to pull, it, push this back out. Just you could just stick something in the bottom and push that out. But yeah, see, I have some drips, but that's good in there. But if my candle didn't fit, I could go in there and just cut them off or peel them off but my candle fits so I did want to mention that so um, now that I have this done and I'm ready to antique these I'm going to put this aside and I'm going to use um, you're going to want to use a kind of a light brown. I am using this acrylic paint. It's something I had and it's called Territorial Beige. Um, if that's what worked for me, um, I think that I actually bought this because it's close to another brand's um, Golden Brown. And I use Golden Brown for um, doing gingerbread. My hands are sore. Oops, boy, that's really runny. <laughs> now, I didn't add any water to that, and it's real runny. It's probably because it's old, but it still works. Can you see that color? It's like a light brown, and it's okay if it's runny like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some water, and I'm going to put it over here, and I'm going to thin down my paint. So... I'm going to take some of this, bring it over here, and make it real liquidy. And then I'm going to take my candle, and I'm going to paint over it with this. Like this. And only do a little bit at a time. Okay, and then I'm going to put some, put this in the water, because I want to I want to take a lot of this off. So you're going to take a rag and you're going to wipe that off. And see how it leaves it in the crevices? And whatever way you want to achieve your color, you're going to wet this down. Just keep applying water and wiping it. You want to leave some of that stuff down in the crevices to give it the antique look. So this is basically um, how I want it to look and I don't want as much brown down here so I'm going to just wet it and wipe it. See what happens when you put um, water on it? I do want some of it to show so I'll, I'll leave it but yeah that's basically how you want it to look. So you're going to come over, you're going to do this in little sections at a time you just paint right over it. Like that. And then you're going to take a rag and wipe it off. 
okay and I got a lot of it off of there so I'm going to put the you're probably going to want to change your water occasionally so I'm putting water on this so that I can lighten it up and then take a rag and wipe it again and then I'm going to wipe really good down here here and I'm going to wipe it. Alright, and you're going to do that all the way around. Now I can see that um, when I did this that I haven't let my white paint dry enough to show this and I have a little bit showing of my hot glue so I'm going to come back and I did this on my other ones I'm going to come back and I'm going to just touch where that hot glue is showing through so what I want to tell you is to make sure your paint is really dry but if it isn't and you're in a hurry like me today you can come back in and fix it and it's still going to look good okay so there there you have it and you just keep going around and if you see let me put this down hang on okay if you see some uh, something that oh, doesn't look right to you like that right there doesn't look good just wipe it um, add more water and wipe until you get the look that you you uh, are comfortable with. I like to have more um, of the white showing here and more of the antique look on the top. So I've got just this little area left so I'm going to show you one more time. I'm going to go over it Water, go ahead and water down your paint. Okay. And then wipe. Wipe it off. And then water down your brush. And come in here. See, I don't want all that there. So I'm going to water it down. But I like the way the top looks and I'm just going to wipe this down and I really like the way this looks I'm gonna get this more wider so I water it down and then I wipe it so and again I see a few more little spots so I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna take my white paint and tip the ends of it ever so slightly and I'm going to let this dry and this will be ready to go in the candelabra once it's dried now if you want to keep these for if you're buying the candelabra at um, Michael's and you want to keep these uh, year after year I would suggest that you um, take this and spray some clear um, I guess clear coating on it some like Krylon clear coating um, I did want to mention that you want to go a little bit on the inside too because you want everything to look the same so go on the inside where it's going to show and then just take your rag and blot it I actually like how that looks so I'm leaving that one as is okay so I hope you learned something today and that you make candles like this for Halloween um, I have some ideas for some Halloween decorations and I'm going to be um, making more of these and please stay tuned to my blog at chocolate crafts and bears oh my 
to see more projects using these toilet paper roll candles. Thanks for watching. See you soon.